Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And if you're here, if you're new, welcome. <laughs> We're going to talk about um, our experience with hens or roosters for the Cornish Cross. Yeah, typically we're not hanging out on the floor in our living room, but it's yeah. kind of cozy. It's been a long day. <laughs> so, butchering the chickens went, I would say, pretty smooth. Yeah, we had I think overall. quite a few new people. I think 11 people were there that have never done it this kind of way. So... Yeah, we butchered or there was with... 11, sorry, there was a, sorry, there was 11 total. 11 total people? Yeah. That include kids was, helping? Nope. So that was only... But there's four of us that did it this way last year. Yep, last year was our first year butchering our own meat birds. On our own. We, on our own. I've done this my whole life, but with family members, not Not on homes. our own property, chickens we raised ourselves. Yeah. So that was our first time doing it last year. And last year, did we have any issues? No. I think we went off without a hitch. Mm -hmm. And what, really what type of birds did we do last year? So, <clears throat> this is where it's going to get into the debate. Mm -hmm. Last year we did, now granted there's a lot of, you know, different scenarios for this, but yeah. last year we did all hens. And we lost two birds. And those two birds we lost, they came, one was had its head crooked the whole time, and the other one had something, something with, its with eye. Yeah, something with its eye was messed mm -hmm. up. Those two birds died within like a day or two. And we had and we ordered a hundred birds. Yep. And they sent a hundred and one. So we yep. ended up with ninety nine birds yep. last year. So this year we ordered a hundred and twenty because we had extra people and we're like, okay, well let's make it work. We knew we needed at least a hundred birds was our mm -hmm. goal. Yep. And we had all said and done we had ninety four birds. That's and, a lot. 26. Yeah. And that was all roosters. So we found with the roosters, granted we did have some cold weather and they were in the pen in our brooder area longer than what we wanted because mm -hmm. we never put them on grass after two to three weeks. They were in there for four weeks and they, it, it was, it was, it wasn't, I don't think it was good. It was, um, when we put them in the tractor, they already were killing each other. I felt like they were, they're like little T-Rexes. Like they'd just attack each other well, to show dominance. And as soon as one was like even a little hurt, like any little red anything, any little cut anything, it was like they all attacked it. And I felt like we were feeding them a lot. Like we were making sure they had lots of food. There's no reason they should be fighting over food. Mm -hmm. But they still were. Like we were spreading food out everywhere, trying to spread them out. Granted, we had a few more in the chicken tractor, but even towards the end with yeah, not as many less. as before, we were still having the same issues. So, and what we also found is the bird size when we butchered them was, what I saw, was a really big difference. Just completely inconsistent. Yeah, it was over a, I forget what it was now, and I, shame on me. It was over a pound difference in a bird, where last year we had like, um, was it a handful of birds, not even, that were a half a pound. So we had a couple that were three and a half pounds, otherwise they were all like four pounds, four and a quarter, four and a half. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but, so to get, or no, not four and a half, they were all four, four and a quarter. But anyways, the hens, it felt like were more of a consistent, I would say. Yeah, they were very similar in size. Like, there was a little bit of difference in some, but they were almost all identical. Yeah. I think and, we had one little one last year, I recall, pulling out of our freezer, but nothing. Yeah. And it, w it was still bigger than the smallest one of the roosters. Oh, for sure. And then you had the roosters this time was just, it was such a big variant. Oh, we should have weighed some of those little, little ones. Well, it's yeah, like there was grow. one that was like maybe this big. Like it was just kind of And that's of the only one that was fully feathered. And that's, so that's, it probably stayed away from all the fighting and didn't get yeah. much food. So that was the that other... Another, Another thing, thing yeah. is the food. The food, what they were eating in comparison. What do you mean about that? Like the hens last year, they foraged. Oh, yeah. They foraged yeah. so, so well. I was well. like, what are you talking about the food? We kept, we, we, I felt like we had food in front of them way more I, than the hens. We had way more food yeah. in front of them than the hens. 
but the roosters didn't forage. So what she means by for like so every time I'd move the chicken tractor, the grass wasn't eaten, it was matted down. Like they weren't eating it. It was weird. I mean there'd be dandelions still in there. Yeah, like, and what, last year the, the hens it. ate it all. Ate everything. Like if we needed last year we needed to move it because there wouldn't be any grass left if we didn't move it. Yeah. This year you moved it off and hoping so they, they would just eat something. <laughs> And all, yeah, the only time we saw them eat any kind of grass is when we moved it to a new grass, which mm -hmm. when they're about halfway through, like you'll notice when they start, the poop load gets pretty big, you start moving them two days a week, or a week, two <laughs> times a no, day. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> and when we'd move them two times a day, every time you'd move them to new grass, you would get ready to get to feed. They'd all be like picking at the grass and walking around, and then you'd watch them and then they'd all stop and then look up at you and once one does then they all do and it's like they don't eat the grass no more and then you put feed in there and then they just sit there and they eat the feed and they attack each other so that's why we were putting like piles of feed all over and filling up the trough just, trying just to, to divide them up out. but it's like it didn't matter they all wanted everyone wanted that one yeah didn't, yeah didn't matter. yeah so overall what do we think i'm gonna go with the hens yeah so we have a whole nother round to do a butchering this year. We ended up getting 30 birds out of yep. this round. Is that correct? Was it? Just oh, yeah, shy of Sammy 30. And Kevin didn't take any. Just shy of 30. We ended up with just shy of 30 birds this round. Last year we did 70 birds for our family and right before this butchering we had left one bag of chicken breasts. I think there were two or four in a bag. I can't remember. Four in that four. bag. And then two bags of wings, like big bags of wings. So that was something we didn't eat a ton of. But not that we won't. We just no, hadn't. Yeah. I don't tend to prepare wings. We often. use those. Those are our specialty meals. They're mm -hmm. like our little instead appetizer. of doing like when we don't want to do a pizza night, we do like a, a wing night. Yeah. And do an appetizer night. Yeah. So the one more round of butchering. So all all the chickens we got this time around are whole. Yeah. So we have 30 whole chickens. Do you remember last year? I think we did 20 whole, correct? Uh, we did 50. So 70. <clears throat> so 20 yeah. whole. And then, so this time around, we'll only do 40 cut up as opposed to 50. So the second round, we're ordering hens? Yeah, so we're going to do hens. Granted, it's going to be in the fall, but it's going to be a good comparison. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to order hens, and we're going to do 120. Mm -hmm. And we're going to put them in there and see how they do. And maybe it was just a fluke deal, and maybe could we got been. some really good... We did actually switch feed this year. Yep. Which could have impacted it. Um, we just weren't able to get feed from the person, the same person who that we, we go had through now. Well, we didn't know. Now we go through Rye, who's up north. Well, And we yes. didn't know about him we before I ordered. placed this order. Yep. So we're going to do that and in bulk, so it would be a lot cheap. So this round with the birds, the pricing with the feed that we got from a closer distributor and losing all those birds and losing all those birds it came out to be well yeah with losing the birds it came out to be $13 a bird but we had some extra bags of feed so then when you put that cost in then it came down to $12 a bird so that's more last year it cost us $9 nine something yeah so we it's this a huge increase yeah so this this year we're gonna go through rye, and then we should get it back down to nine dollars a bird. Guess, Unless is it we lose a, lose fresh, a ton of birds. Fresh starts farm. Fresh starts farm. Yep. Yep. In Mora, Minnesota. So if you're looking for it online, it's on Facebook, and there's a website. Um, yep. But yeah, we're definitely gonna see if we can get feed for our next batch of meat birds through him. Yep. We've been really pleased with the pig feed we got from him. So. Yeah, absolutely. So this time around, we're gonna take it and compare it. The only thing that's gonna be different is they're gonna be hens, and we have a different feed supply. But mm -hmm. and a different time of year. I mean, there's yeah. always going to be variables like that that you just can't. Well, and right next year we're gonna do hens again, anyways, in the spring, mm -hmm. so we can compare that again too. But right. comparing it from last year, it was hand hands down. I difference. don't know if I would want to butcher chickens again if this was our first experience doing it ourselves. Yeah, I yeah, I hear you. I would I would want to try it made me sad. Hens, yeah. And I felt like we were treating them really well, moving them and feeding them and it still felt like it just wasn't good enough. Yeah. You know? 
and that was really hard. It was kind of emotional seeing them, like, not happy birds, you yeah. know? Oh, and um, we also did eight of our laying hens, the old ones. Yeah, so we also butchered eight laying hens, and what we did with that meat, along with the carcasses, some people chose to take their meat cut up, so we had the carcasses from the middle, is we took all that meat and we cooked it and cut it off the bone. Some of the family, mm -hmm. some of our family members stayed and we worked on that the next day. And we um, pressure canned, I'm not even sure. I'll leave, I'll leave a note down below. I have a picture of it, but we pressure canned some chicken, um, some family members, and then we also made a bunch of quarts of bone broth, yeah. canned it. And this, this was our first time canning chicken and canning bone broth. Last year I froze our bone broth, um, and I still have some left. So yeah, and yeah. I was looking forward to this time because we're not gonna keep it, we're not gonna have it in the freezer. <laughs> My canning cupboard's already filling back up. Though. Like I was just getting it empty from all the harvest time stuff, and now it's like, whoop, we're filling it right back up. <laughs> so and we're splitting that with the people that helped. Mm -hmm. So if whoever stayed the next day or came back the next day helped with that then that's who got the oh yeah we're splitting that. in between us so we didn't get all of it but i'll show a picture of how much it totaled um it was crazy yeah. too with the old hens of how much meat we got off there to put in there and we didn't so what we did is we took the meat off of the older hens and we also put that and canned it in the canned meat mm -hmm. because we know from past by pressure canning or instapot the chicken it makes the chicken a lot better but then we also Those know birds. you have the old birds and it also excuse me it also uh makes they make better bone broth yeah that bone broth was actually just really naturally dark some of the other stuff we did with the um carcasses of the meat birds that was lighter it was interesting yeah. and it cooked longer so it's kind of interesting um but we added you know spices and things so that could be part of it but it smelled so good in here I thought, oh, yes, it did. I thought with all the butchering, you know, you don't really want to eat chickens. We made sloppy joes that day. Um, you don't really want to eat chicken usually for a while, but making that bone broth the house smelled so good. Yeah, it really did. It was all my, all my uh, sage from the greenhouse dried. We used like all of it. I need to fix some more. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was cool. It was cool to see it all come together. So it was worth it. I'm, we're not going to stop doing chickens mm -hmm. because of this one bad run. Yeah, I'm interested to see if anybody will come back to do it again because I feel like the birds were a little bit smaller, a little more expensive, and we might have learned some hard lessons. And we had two families that have never ever butchered before. So that was Everyone butchered chickens. Everyone stuck it out. Yep, so it's cool, to, it's cool to hear. And, you know, time will tell if they'll want to come back. But then we also had um, two other people three a three few other, other people, people who couldn't make it that yeah and then we had some yep. other we had uh, three other people that it was their first time doing it with us but they've yeah. done it before well and then so our next round of butchering is going to be how many did we say we got about 30 about 30 i'm off a few but about 30 so we're going to get another 40 or so so we'll probably do another 100 120 um but the rest will be kind of those other family members who wanted large quantities. So we can replace that chicken from the store. So we're not buying it from the store. And last year we were able to do that. We didn't buy chicken a single time. I'm trying to think if there was anything chicken that we bought. Uh, we did once. Uh, one of the family trips we went on. Just we out did. of convenience? Yeah, because we didn't want to use their good stuff. <laughs> well, sometimes we're guilty of that for birthday parties. I was so proud of us. We used our... Um, Grass fed. The grass fed beef for our sloppy joes, which usually it's like, no, I'll just buy some. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. But, but we use. I'll it. regret it when it's gone, but it was so good. <laughs> it was good. Yeah. Well, that's probably about it, I guess. Yeah. If you have any questions, you know, ask away in the comments. So if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you want to see some more. Glad you got to see us again. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>